And so uh, I'll talk about the tech stack soon, but it's gonna bring up the browser instance, gonna search <laughs> Joanne Shen. It's going to visit every single link. It's gonna oh, scroll no. down performatively, even though uh, it can just grab the text, but it's gonna scroll down to make it seem like it's reading the page. It's grabbing every single page about Joanne. And her life. Her Twitter profile. Her storied uh, investment track record, and then it's gonna query, you can sort of see it at the bottom, but it's gonna query, it's gonna query a llama index embedding uh, that's built into uh, Browser Pilot, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But it's uh, querying the, the browser, or excuse me, the llama index embedding uh, that it's created in, uh, oh gosh, AI overlords. So the email that it generated is, Dear Joanne, I hope this email finds you well. I came across your profile and I'm impressed by your experience investing in generative AI companies, particularly your work with Foundation Capital, someone who's interested in this field, and so on. Um, so I'm Steve Vassallo, one of the general partners here at Foundation, and we've got a big chunk of our team. We need more folks throughout the course of the night. We've got Andrew, Jenny, Danae, Jaya, and that room over there, are a couple more folks in the team. Um, and we're just thrilled to have you here, uh, building. It's, uh, that's in our bones here. So um, just a quick kind of run of show so you have some orientation around what's, uh, what's happening over the next whatever, five, six hours or so. So um, you guys have last until basically nine o'clock then. What's the call experiences? I've been working on this for about four weeks here and this is built with Langchain and GPT-4. There it is. So with B2B sales teams, time is money. They literally have a quota that ranges from closing 500 bucks a Chrome extension called Thimble. And when you pop this up, what it's gonna do is read the gone transcript and provide all of the information that an account executive may need just right on a silver platter for them. So up here at the top, we get a one sentence summary about what happened in the call, and they can just go ahead and copy and paste this and put it right on the opportunity in Salesforce. They don't have to type this up themselves. And then also, they can grab current state. So what is going on with this business and what may be strategic metrics that they want to pull out and actually go tell their leadership. So for example, in here, this prospect. Do is uh, build tools for executives to understand data in a very seamless way. So my idea was to build something for executives to uh, ask questions in a natural language and get answers and for a certain kind of data and it came up with Pretty interesting questions which I visualize. We thought it would be really cool to let an AI be our designer as well. And so that's what we've been hacking on in nights and weekends over the past two weeks. So what we have here is we can, I'm gonna kick off a couple of jobs um, here. And what this does is based on a text input, it's going to design a website for us, generate assets, create artwork, and everything else based on our prompt. And then it's actually going to translate that into Webflow. So we have a no-code website created in just a couple of seconds. Well, from a prompt, actually. Prompt. So we are skipping over Figma completely um, for, for this product. Making up something about uh, this product that doesn't exist at all. Um, and then- Our uh, unique case when, when chat GPD was trained. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's a limitation on just the train gate. And it's kind of a problem because it's always going to be a killer. Um, and if you instead uh, do it in the little Discord interface I created, um, using current data, um, I just have this question queue prefix. I actually get a correct response. And the reason why. The problem, like, why do we care about the migration? So uh, families get separated and there's like economic impacts and for diversity, access to education, healthcare, mental health of people you know, that gets affected. Then they will, um, then there was a lot of time, like our paralegal took like six weeks on average to draft cover letters or like there are letters of recommendation. All of these we can definitely use up on. So oh, okay. you have a okay. take a time. Right, so what it's doing is, is taking that idea and then it's giving us a draft article. And so like, essentially this is like, you want to drive traffic to your website. You you don't have time to write articles. You don't want to find somebody to write articles. You don't want to like tell them what to do. You just like oh, I say Barcelona paying some price. It's a it's a pretty long article. Um, so yeah, we just text, text it over. I think this interface is pretty nice because 
you have text in your phone. If you're not opening a separate app, if you're not you know, opening a, a, a website, you're just like, texting someone. Um, and it's much easier to do than, than to download an app or things like that. Uh, so you should respond with the summary soon. Cool. Okay, so it says, it says a few things. Um, some corruption charges. Outreach, cold calls. Uh, there are, I don't even know, tens of thousands of people doing this as well. Um, so this, I have not worked on this at all. This was all built in the last whatever, four hours. Cool. Um, so I've, I've kind of hidden all the code, um, but a thing called, um, oh my God, what's the word for it? I cannot remember, but anyway, I cannot. 3 guru.ai. Today I had done something which uh, I'm annoyed because OpenAI gave me access to GPT-4, but not the multi model API. So I want to hack the way out of it too. So then it completes the task and we have it. So one can now add any custom functions, like I can even do calculation or any other. Uh, no, like no, this. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, good job. <laughs> I'll just do one last of like of another external do image variation. So this basically this is making external API call um, to open AI's image variation endpoint. And, uh, okay, so this.